$700,000 in short-line infrastructure grants are on the books for 2011, helping 11 privately owned short lines in the province. The program is based on a 50-50 cost-sharing basis, offering short lines the opportunity to move forward with a number of upgrades, from track maintenance, rail tie replacements, and bridge repairs. Here in the southwest, the Great Sand Hills Railway out of Leader is set to receive just over $83,000, while Great Western Railway in Shaunavan will receive just over $220,000. Funds which are greatly appreciated by Great Western Railway officials, whose line covers just over 308 miles across the southwest. And upgrades which will be slightly altered this year following extreme water runoff here in the region. And now a lot of, this money, a lot of that money will go towards... Uh, 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 flood uh, repairs, uh, water uh, damage to the track, and and uh, that is uh, eligible under the sustainability uh, funding. So a lot of places where our track was washed out and if there's damage to bridges, uh, a lot of that money now will will go from the sustainability fund will go towards that type of work. So we're hoping that uh, we don't have to use a lot of our uh, portion of it for that type of work because we had planned to, uh, you know, for tie programs and things like that this summer. The infrastructure grant program has been in place for short lines since 2008, and according to Cypress Hills MLA Wayne Elhard, the program is a way of supporting short lines and their overall importance to the provincial economy. Not the least of which is the amount of grain uh, they take off of our highways. Our highways are under tremendous pressure uh, from uh, grain moving by truck. And so the more grain we can put on these uh, short lines, uh, the more advantageous that is to our highway system. That's, that's just one uh, very real benefit of these, of these operations. I think the other uh, operations uh, uh, that would uh, benefit are some of the uh, businesses that uh, exist in small-town rural Saskatchewan. There is a real economic uh, boost to small communities that uh, may have uh, bought their local elevator and have a, a grain handling um, a company operating locally. Eleven privately owned short lines cover a span of 1,900 kilometers of provincially regulated track here in Saskatchewan.